your guys want to tell me about your current situation. Oh, there we go, what's that one? <laughs> they flick them at me sometimes for justice. That's interesting, I'll keep that out. Okay, justice. I'll put them all down first before I go to that. People in your life that are maybe not so, not really trustworthy. There's different perspectives to that. Um, and the sun card, your final card, so that's good. Okay, yeah, right, sun's the best card. It means like fantastic outcome. Um, so let me read what these say. Right, so that jumped out, justice. Justice is to do with, it can be to do legal matters, you know, if you're involved in any legal matters just now, and, and then the rest will tell you how that's going to turn out, right? Okay. Um, it could be disputes with your work, or it could be it could be that the situation with you and someone, that you know you're right, but they're, you know, it's like wrangling who's who's right here. But what I get with that is, is an end to everything that's going on, but a really good outcome for you. Okay. So... I'm trying to read deeper into you here. I do feel it. I, I, I am picking up on some legal legal issues. There is. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, there is. Yeah. It's a good outcome for you. Yeah. It's like everyone coming together. It's a joyous dance. You know, it's... Yeah. Um, but being, being the ten, tense endings, right? The end of a situation. So you're obviously coming to a close of this matter. Yeah, we are. Right? So it, it's saying good. Yeah. Right? It's saying that you've got, you've got lots of people on your side... You've yeah. got lots of people voting for you and standing yeah. by you, so so that's really good. Uh, and it shows you've been through really dark times with this. Oh, I have. Uh, you've been feeling like you're lost in the dark, oh, uh, not knowing what the outcome's been, and it's, and it's affected your health. That's why I'm seeing this card come up here. Because it almost, like, it almost made you not trust in people anymore. Yeah. Because you don't know where, you know, you've got these reflections reflecting back at you all different angles. So it's, make, it's it's really confused you. It's really made you feel displaced in your life. Yeah. And and it's taken over, so to speak. Because it's really, you've been a real dark cupboard. I have. With all this. For a very long time. Well, at least that's, I'm really glad this card's come out then. Yeah. It's all going to be over and it's, you know. Yeah. Going to be a completion of that. Um. I'm getting something through with like a sister figure. Yep. Yeah? Yep. That's what to do with. Yep. Right. Um, I feel like there's... Uh, this might not... I feel like... You and your sister okay? No. No. Because I feel like you will be. I feel like you will be. I know you won't listen to that. I know it's, you're not going to be like, that's it for me. It's, it's cut. You know, I've been through so much shit with mm -hmm. this, right? Excuse mm -hmm. my language. But... In the future, I think you will find some resolve. Okay. Right? You don't want to end... You really don't want to have that karma. Yeah. Right? So I, th I would suggest you work... Uh, no now. Right? No now. Let yourself relax after all this is over. Right? Mm -hmm. Really relax and self-pamper mm -hmm. a lot. Right? Because you deserve it. Because you've got to replenish your soul again. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it takes a lot out of your, your energy body. Mm -hmm. You just feel like you're tired all the time. Mm -hmm. Everything's really hard work. Yep. Right? So you do need to give yourself a wee spa. Mm -hmm. Right, and you deserve it because you need to you need to be good for everybody else because you hold this ho this household up. Yeah, right. So you know yeah. you need to be the one that's strong, but you don't have to be strong right now. But I do see a resolution in the future. I will say that. Okay. And it seems like it seems like a, it seems like there's going to be more information coming out from her side about why is there drugs not involved in it? Is there something? It's your medication that's making her head a bit funnier. She smokes marijuana. Aye. Mm -hmm. So she's not, yeah. Mm -hmm. That can change a person's personality, remember. 100%. Right? And it's not truly her. Mm -hmm. It's her addictions that are causing her to behave the way she is. Mm -hmm. And the effect of the drugs on her mind. So her mind's yeah. gone wrong. So this isn't your sister that's doing that to you. This is the drugs doing that to you. Mm -hmm. There'll be clarity in the end. Okay. Right? So it's, that's when you get in the sun card because it is all going to be really good for you. Okay. Right? Um, this one here, five of emotions. 
I mean, it's all going to be, I'm trying to move away from how you're feeling that situation because there's other things you feel as well in yeah. life, you know, it's not, even though it has taken, but I do feel you, I mean, this is like ice all around you. I feel you're frozen out of life. You've not done anything fun. No. I, I would really suggest, yeah, I would, I'm just getting that through so strong, try and get away for a weekend or something. Business-wise, this is interesting. This is really successful in business. This is like starting your own business situation, right? Mm -hmm. And this shows really good, this shows a lot of success. You know, this is, you know, all the roses represent money, right? Because this card is about money, mm -hmm. materials. And it's an A, so it's almost, it's almost at the end of a journey, like you're, you, you've been working towards something mm -hmm. and it's going to really pay off. It's, it's got your hand in many pots almost, but I feel it's, I feel this card is telling me it's almost something, something that you do with your hands yourself. Mm -hmm. A skill that you do, you don't need anything else really to do it. You know, are you a hairdresser? No. Something, is it something with your hands though? I'm mm -hmm. feeling it's with your mm -hmm. hands, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see. I just passed my, my manicure course. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. so that's where I'm getting the hands mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally the hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to go really well. Right. Accolade of Wands. This is your partner. The Accolade of Wands, right? It's the, it's the, just under King. Right, but he's riding the yellow. You've got the yellow cape and everything on to show like that's about learning and stuff. And um, he's your warrior. He's definitely your warrior. Definitely. Okay. And wands is a card of doing things, getting things done. So I really feel like he just gets things done. You can really rely on him. He's got your back all the time. Hundred percent. Yeah, you got a really good one there. Um, and because of him being like that, you can be like this. Yeah, he'll encourage you to mm -hmm. to go that way. I'm getting shown loads of visions and I'm talking to you here, but they're random, they're really random. I'm being shown a witch's broom. I thought one was about a witch. <laughs> oh, all right, okay. So she's about to clarify then which, which, who, who it she's was then. She's trying to say, don't it be so hard on me. Aye, she just wrote a little thing. She just wrote, I love you, on a piece of paper for me. Aww. There, to show you. Hey. Well, hang on, give me two seconds just to have a wee conversation. Right, hang on. Okay, I'm asking her, where's your mum? <laughs> she was saying she's hiding behind the door. Right? Like, now what I'll tell you about spirit is when they feel your emotions, right? So if they feel you and get upset, they stay back. They stay back just far enough that they can feel you and they can let you know they're there, but they won't actually come into the room sometimes or close into your energy field, right? Now, I'm getting some of the hair scraped back in a ponytail. My nan always had her hair up. Right, so she's going to come in. She's going to come in and speak for your mum, I think. Okay. Right? Um, it's like a bun. The bun, back. Aye, Yeah, bun. right, okay. So she's coming in first, eh? Okay. First she's saying you've got great kids. Didn't, didn't let anyone tell you any different then. Is that how she was spoken? Because she's trying to speak yep. through me. Right? <laughs> Sometimes I let them speak a little bit through me, but, you know. Yep. Um, she's putting money on the table. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right? So how she do it? Like, here, take that home. Take that for yourself. Take that home. It's something to be a fiver. Right, you know, but she put money on the table for you. So, um, she says, your mum's all better now. Right, your mum's all better now. Did your mum have something about the pancreas or down, something wrong with her, like down the bottom oh half God. of her body? Aye, uh, she did. She died with pancreas cancer. Aye, okay, okay. So your grandson, your mum's pancreas is fine now, right? So, you know, there's, she's in a happy, happy place, right? It means she can watch your three Right, for where she is. They'll never, no harm will come to them because she's got a very close eye on them. Right? Okay? Know that. I think it's hard to try to, try to get through the understanding of the situation with your sister. Because obviously she's very disappointed in that. But, I think she says, but there is there is a reason. There is a reason, you know, and it's, 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 not, it's not good, it's not cool. But she wishes she'd give you a hug. That's my sister. Right? Teamed up my dad against me and my dad speak to my, my sister or dad because they both smoke marijuana for the minute they get up to they go to their sleep and they're both schizo paranoia yeah. and I just can't take any drugs no, in my life. No, near can I. No, near can I. I know all I hear mum says get the, get the kettle on. Mm -hmm. Right, she liked a cuppa. Mm -hmm. Hey, she likes sitting. She likes sitting with you just nattering. Hey, but she says I didn't do enough of that. That's just because you were quite young. 
Oh my god. So she wishes that you were she could sit with you now. Hey, eh, like I am. She wouldn't be able to sit with you now like I am. Yeah. Hey. Eh. It's gonna make me cry because she's 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 got a lot of love for you. Oh my god, she and she but she says, don't don't be sad about me not being there, because I'm not not there. Right? You just can't touch my face. Right? But I can touch yours. Yeah? yeah? You're not alone. You're don't. not alone in the world. You just let her know that I forgive her. She can hear everything you're saying. I hope that she knows that I do forgive her sometimes. I get a drink up and I got mad about her because of the sure. abandoned and all stuff. I understand everything. But... That's I why do. she's hiding outside, isn't it? Because she feels bad. I, I, totally, I do totally forgive her. Mm -hmm. She'll feel that. She'll feel that. The older I get and the harder I know that this job is, I totally get why she done it to get away from my dad. And yep. yep. I, totally, I swear to God I would be cry. Everybody does. <laughs> well. <But> honestly, <laughs> I completely forgive her 100% and I love her. She's making you realise that please don't ever think you're alone in the world, right? And don't think your family betrayed you or let you down, right? Just people have problems. And ev everyone has problems. Not everyone, not if, she says not everyone can get their shit together like you can. Right? <laughs> yeah. Especially her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're very strong. You're a very strong person. Cause, just because I never wanted to be like my mum or dad. Yeah. That's why yeah. I am so strong. Yeah. Hey. You're going to have a great future. Oh, right? so. It's going to make up for all the past. I think they're all going to make sure of it. Because they all work behind the scenes to put things in place for you. And do you know the way they do it, right? Is that it's kind of like, it's almost a wee bit like cheating, but not really, right? Um, but, you know, if you've got an opportunity, they will, they will almost like whisper in someone's ear to give them an idea that then they'll see you. Oh! And you, then suddenly you'll be the one that's introduced. You know what I mean? Mm. The way they do it, so you've, you're always in the right place at the right time. And the way to let that magic happen in your life is to just always listen to what your insides are saying you and say, I feel like I need to go here. You know? Listen to your gut. Listen to your gut because yeah. it's going to lead you to where you need to be. Yeah. Blame, don't think you did anything wrong in your life. You haven't done anything wrong in your life. Mm. You, you always do what you think's for the best at the time. I'm eating up the guilt all the time. Let it go. I've done this let right. I've no. done that right. No, let it go. And it's ruining everything. It's ruining me. Let it go, I'm telling you. Right? Let's imagine it together now, right? That we're putting all those things you feel guilty about, right? Make a rubber band with them all. You know, you put the bands together and you make a big ball of rubber yep. bands, right? Everything you think, you think, cause, because it's not true, it's just what you think, right? You've done wrong. Put in this rubber band and chuck it. Yep. Right? Because it's not serving you. That's no, it's ruining me. And it's ruining and it's, everyone. But it, it's, all, it's all lies because you've, you you only ever do what you think is best for everybody else. Right? Yeah. You don't do what's best for you. So how could you ever be bad if you're only doing things that help other people? That's true. Right? So you've not been nothing ever. And if you ever have a guilty thought again, I'll be phoning you, <laughs> giving you a pep talk. Because honestly, you've never done a bad thing in your life. I know. Right? And you've got to remember that. You want to life's good souls, right? And honestly, we can plague ourselves all these things, but self forgiveness is the first step to, to you know, really loving yourself, and taking right? your life back, taking your life back. Don't lose your life to silly nonsense. It doesn't matter. I mean, I it's not. It's, you know, I'm saying silly nonsense because it's the things in your head that you think is a silly nonsense, mm. right? People, people shouldn't ever be hundred reliant on you anyway, really, because everyone's got responsibility for themselves. Yep. Right. You shouldn't take that responsibility on. You're a guiding light. You're not a suitcase carrying them all. Yep. Right? So, everyone has to live their life. Mm -hmm. And you're not serving people all the time by doing anything for them. Yep. That's so true. Right? They have to grow. They're here to experience and learn and let their soul grow as well. So let them experience and grow. Okay. Let them find their own feet, right? Yep. So take a step back. Love everybody. But love yourself as well. Yep. Okay? Yep. Okay, is that alright for you? Yes, that's great. Yep.